So this year at Net Impact, we've really been looking for ways that we can add value to the student experience here at Daniels, um, and that's where the idea for this workshop came about for me as a way to share some of the, that experience and those learnings about environmental impact through business, corporate sustainability, um, and more importantly, what it means to be a sustainability professional um, with students here in a way that's meaningful yet um, still fun and engaging for students. The, the overall challenge question for today, how can Chipotle use reverse logistics to improve its overall waste diversion rate through recycling of cardboard? You know, real world problems are systemic and they're complicated. And this sort of ideation or design thinking, rapid prototyping, whatever you want to call it, is really helpful for those types of challenges. Um, so to be able to get lots of brains that are really sharp in a room and tackle these systemic problems is of the most benefit for us. So rapid prototyping is an activity where a group of people get together and they do rather than think about doing or talk about doing. And so it's a way to quickly come up with possible solutions or answers to a problem or a challenge without getting bogged down by constraints and concern. This type of exercise just lets people get together and start solving the problem and continuing to quickly build on that throughout the course of the day. And then you're shipping it to the mill, which is going to pay you for it, right? So you're turning it into a revenue stream. And you, you hire have... people to change the food from cardboard to plastic bins. Or you can make it modular, right? You could have it so that those compartments slide over. And it would be a simple system. We'll give you all this cardboard at three cents savings per bowl, which is $15 million savings. Work on getting a return on that retrofit investment uh, a little bit faster. Specifically for this sort of ideation or creative thinking, to have this school in our backyard is really a gift. And this is the first of what we hope is many sort of interactions and problem solving that we can do with the students. Hopefully it's good for them and it's good for us as well.